Hey guys, so we're gonna be doing two things today. The first is styling up this form a little bit, and then next is actually calling the register function that we've built before, the register mutation. Now, if you haven't already, you wanna go ahead and add the controller to your package.json. So this is where our code is for using the register mutation. And then you wanna just run yarn install to uh, install this. And I've already done that, so go ahead and do that. And then our register view, we're gonna start working on the UI of this a little bit. The first thing I want to do is center this. Now, right now, I'm not really centering it. I'm just like pushing it down off the top. So on different phones, it's going to be on different locations. So to center it, I'm going to say, uh, start by saying flex one. And what that will do is it'll expand this view to the whole page. Um, and actually, why don't I just do background color red? This will show you what it looks like before and after. So if I have this, um, you'll notice what's going to happen is the red is just going to be right here. So if I want this view to take over the whole screen, I can say flex one and it's now going to take over the whole screen. Uh, and now what I can say is now that I have flex one and I can say display flex. So now this stuff is going to be flexed and I can tell it to justify and center. And now it's going to be in the center of the page. And I can get rid of that background color now. We don't need that anymore. Uh, the other thing is, for some reason, I was using the button from React Native. I want to use the button from uh, React Native Elements just because it looks nicer. And then I'm also going to use the card view. And so I'm just going to wrap this in a card. Um, all right, so we have some semblance. We just need to space things out now. And I also want to add a text. So at the top of my card here, I'm going to say register. And we can style this so it actually looks like more of a header sort of thing. So I'm going to say font size is 30. And I'm going to say margin bottom is 10. And then the button is kind of mashed here. I'm just going to say style margin top 30, give it some space. Um, and then lastly, I don't, it's kind of weird that these kind of like stop right here. I'm gonna have them extend to the end and align with the button. So any props that I pass to the field right here, it goes directly to the uh, input field. So this input field over here and so one of the things you can do is a container style on it. So I can do that from the register view over here. I can say container style. And I can say width is 100%. Um, and then it'll extend. So I can add that to both of them. And we'll paste this here. And I only need the width. All right, so I'm decently happy with this register form, but feel free to style this however you like. Now, something I don't think we tested in the last video is when we actually type out an email and password that we can actually see it in the log. So if I open up my console and I hit submit, uh, sure enough, okay, I see my uh, Bob email and my Bob password. Now, I don't know if you noticed when I was typing there, but it actually kind of capitalized the B right here. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, while sometimes it, you should capitalize your text input field, in this case, I kind of want to have whatever the user inputs uh, capitalize. So there is a field on uh, the text input that we can control this. So here are the options we can say. So it looks like the default is set to where it will capitalize that first letter. So I'm gonna set the capitalization to none and uh, hopefully we don't get that. So let's copy this field. And I'm going to say auto capitalization, and I'm going to say none. And I'm going to say the same thing on the password field. Um, though I don't think the password field, well, let's go back. Yep, password field didn't look like it needed it. Maybe because we have secure input. But now if I type bob at bob.com, and I say bob here, and I submit that guy. All right, everything looks lowercase, good. All right, so let's go ahead and use our controller now. So import, and we're gonna import from um, the controller package. 
and we'll grab the register controller and we're just going to do the same thing that we did in the web version so we're going to wrap it register controller and this is a rendered component so we're going to turn this into a function and that's what we're going to render and we'll get submit from that and we'll pass submit in and now we don't need our dummy submit give this a save and now we want to actually register with a real email slash password I'm going to open up my console so I can see it. So I have 10 minute email up. I need to refresh my account. Um, and we'll try uh, actually sending the mutation off. Give this a paste. Um, okay, so that did not actually copy. 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 Paste again. All right, so that's not pasting at all. Maybe if I copy that all right we're just gonna have to go with the uh, technique I used before and auto do it ourselves all right so we see all right so <laughs> I've exceeded my uh, sending limit so I need to get a new API key but if we hit this point we know we're correctly calling the mutation so uh, we've connected everything correctly and we've seen that it works before so that's it for this video.